Okay, what we're gonna do right now is Bill's gonna throw me a straight punch. The first drill is just evasion. So he comes at me straight, and I'm just gonna go to my backside. Sometimes you don't have the option. There might be a wall right turn, he throws that same time. So I might have this option. The only option would be going this way. I still have to watch out for that punch. He throws that punch. This is my ideal to get to his backside, but there may be a wall on this side. He punches there, so I've got to evade here, but be cautious of what's happening right over here. The next drill we're going to do is we're going to add this moksal or this side fist block here. But we're going to basically go from the hands, hands being up, we don't need to go so low, and we're going to outside block it. He comes here, and I'm over on this side. I just basically did that side block. He goes again, this time there's a wall there, so I kind of blocked it there. He has here, my first choice is to go to the outside. My second choice, which might be the only choice, would be going to the inside. The next thing I do is add a strike to it. So he comes at me with the first one. Outside, there's the punch here, or the claw there, or the strike there, whatever I want to do for my follow up strike. Same hand comes, zone out. I have a strike here, I've got a claw here, whatever I want to do is there, but again, be, be wary of that hand. Next, that side punches. Outside, there's my punch, there's my strike, whatever I want to do, mix it up. Same hand. One, two, three, whatever I want to do. You're not going to have time to do like 50 strikes on that one strike, but you would have time to evade and block and strike at the same time. So then the other way, so we get a different angle. So again, he, he throws a punch. There's movement one. This could be movement two, but ideally this happens at the same time. Same hand. That's how it would look like. Same strike as the block. We're here, outside. Same hand. We're right up in there. The next one we're gonna do is we're gonna do one, one additional follow-up. So he comes at me with that side. One, this kind of has to have the same motion here. And then what we're gonna do on the second motion is we're just gonna kind of turn in and get to his back side because I wanna do stuff there. If he does the other side and have the opportunity to move to the outside, there's my strike. I'm gonna turn in to get to his back side and do what I need to do from there. So that's the reason why you wanna get that back side more so than the front side because you're not gonna tie up with 